For this video, what I want to do is show you how to solve systems of inequalities using Desmos. Desmos is a free online graphing calculator, and the thing that I love about it the most is I can take any equation in no matter what form it's in and enter it directly into the screen without having to solve for y. So what we have here is this is a circle, and this is a line. And so what I'm going to do is graph both of these. Um, using Desmos and see where the region is that they overlap each other. Okay, um, and then I will do the second one. So I have this written down on a piece of paper. If you need to, go ahead and write this down on a piece of paper and pause and then get your Desmos so that you can try typing it in at the same time. All right, so if I go into Desmos, I can either hit X and then use Shift and the number six, which will give me the caret key. Um, and type it in as x squared, or I can also use the keyboard um, down here. If you click on the keyboard at the bottom, then I could use the squared button here. So there's a couple different ways that you could put this in. So our next equation is y minus one. Close your parentheses, and then we would also hit squared. And for this one, it's less than four. So as you notice, once I put the less than four, it does put in a dotted circle so that you know that um, it is dotted. It also gives you important points. So if you're trying to plot this on your paper, um, you know what points it goes through. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put our line in here. So our line is x minus two y, and I'm just using my keyboard to type this in. And then I can hit the less than or equal to negative four. So all I did was enter in the two equations that I had written down here. Got too many things going on. And we can see that our overlap region is this region right here. So again, if you needed to, this gives you the points of where they intersect. So you can see how to graph and it gives you important points so that um, you could graph this on your paper. So my answer solution would just be this region right here that's contained by the circle and the line. So I wouldn't shade everything what I would do and I wasn't going to do this, but I'll go ahead and write it down so that you can see how to do this on paper. So we would take from there and we would see that our circle has a center at zero, one, and then I would go out two in each direction. Okay, and then I would do a dotted circle because of the fact that it does not include it. And then for this one, like I said, you can get the points from here. I keep doing that. Um, so if I click on the red line, it gives me a point. It goes through 0, 2, and negative 4, 0. So I'm just going to plot those two points. So 0, 2, and what was it, negative 4, 0. And this one would be a solid line because of the fact that um, it's included. So then our answer region would just be this part right here that's contained by the circle and above the line. So it's the overlap of the two colors. So I wanted to at least show you how to put it onto paper for one. For the second one, I'm going to go ahead and just plug it in and see what the answer looks like in Desmos. All right, so let's make sure I open the correct screen here. Um, what you can do is you can just highlight on this and hit enter, or you could have also just hit the X button. I don't know what color will pop up next because it does change colors when I do that. Um, so for this one, our first one is Y is greater than negative X squared minus three. So we can see that it's a parabola. And then our second equation is going to be x minus 2y. Is less than or equal to 8. Okay, so we really can't see because of this keyboard, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And we can see that our overlap would be everything that's on the outside. So if I click on my red one, you can see that it would be everything that's above the parabola and also above the line. So it would be on the outside portion of here, and that would be my solution set. So 
With this, just a recap, I can use Desmos to help me quickly see what the graph would look like. So then I can put it on paper. So like I said, this one is just a parabola that the vertex would be at negative three. I would go over one, down one, over two, down four to get my next point. And then on the other side, because it's symmetric, it does the same thing. This would be dotted because of the fact that it does not include it. It's just um, greater than. If I were graphing this one, again, I can use Desmos to help me see if I click on the line what some of my points are. So we know it goes through 0, negative 4, and it also goes through 8, 0. Or we could look at some of these other points here. We can see that at 2, it's at negative 3. That would be an easier point. So we could use 0, negative 4, and 2, negative 3. So we would be here, let me change colors. This one would be solid. And the reason it ends up being greater than is right here because of the fact that my Y is negative and I'm circling on the wrong one, even though both of them, I, my eyes went directly to that one because they're the same. So because I'm dividing by a negative two, if I were to solve this for Y, I would have negative two Y less than or equal to negative X plus eight. And then when I divide everything by a negative, remember that it flips, so it becomes y is greater than or equal to negative x plus eight. And then I can shade on the outside of both of them because it's greater than both of them. Okay, so it would be on the outside of this part and greater than the line, so everything up above. So with this, the purpose of this video was really to show you how to do it in Desmos, but if you don't know how to put it onto paper, then you're kind of at a loss. So I went ahead and decided to put, give you that as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned something. And as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.